I know you've just spoke to Hanny there and we've got this relationship, this partnership with the All-Star Soccer Academy which is great, um, hopefully for the next 10 years, that's, that's the plan. This is the first year we've been out, um, so it's the first camp and we've already got you know, 100 kids here in year one which is, uh, which is good going to be honest, you know. so who knows where we're going to be in two or three years time, you know, maybe two or three hundred kids coming out. Um, we've got, including myself, there's four of us here, four coaches working with all the kids. So in years to come, we're hoping to get, you know, maybe up to ten coaches coming out. And, you know, we're here for a week, which is great, but, you know, maybe in the next couple of years we'll be here for you know, two, three, four weeks of the summer working with the kids. Um, it's, you know, you build a rapport up with a group, you get to know them, and a week can be hard to, to get to know each player and, and their strengths and their weaknesses and whatever else. So, you know, maybe over the next few years we can make a real difference into some of the players' development here in Indiana. No, I was looking in one of the brochures, and it says that you know most of the coaches out here are hand-picked. Are you, I'm assuming you're one of those? Yeah, well, uh, it's me that does the picking, to be honest. Um, obviously, my job is, once we set this, uh, this camp up, is to make sure that we're sending the right coaches out to represent the club as a Rangers football club, and also to give the kids the best experience they can out here in Indiana. So we've got a real mixture of, of coaching experience here, um, ranging from... Air older coach over there whose who's, um, ability working with the, the young players, you know, the sevens and eights, is second to none. He can really help them develop, but it's all about fun at that age as well, isn't it? So he's he's a wee bit, bit the clown in him as well, and he keeps the kids going, which is great. We've got Fraser, who's a goalie coach as well, you know, and Fraser's played at a, a real high level back in Scotland. Fraser's dad is the first team goalie coach at Rangers Football Club, so we've got loads of experience there, and again works with uh, some of the younger kids. And then you've got myself and Willie, uh, a wee bit older, I'm not as old as Willie right enough, um, who work with the older groups, uh, and me and Willie work within our academy programmes, you know, every, you know, maybe two or three nights a week back home with our under nines to twelves talented players who have signed for our teams. Um, so I see a real vast range of experience, so... Yeah, we've got a real hand-picked bunch, and uh, hopefully the kids will enjoy it. Now, are you a former player for Glasgow? No, I, n I never played for Rangers, unfortunately. I, I wish I did, but I didn't. I played, um, as a young player, I played what we call pro youth back in Scotland. And then I suppose it's the equivalent of semi-pro out here. Um, as maybe I'd only finished two or three years ago. So, um, yeah, I've not played at the, the real top level, but um, sometimes... The, the best coaches haven't played at the real top level, so that's what I'm going to stick to anyway. <laughs> now, uh, with this association with the Rangers, how does it make this camp different than some other camp that these kids might be able to go to? Uh, the, the difference being is, you know, it's, we use a very specified curriculum for our kids, um, which is obviously we tweak it depending on the group you're working with, but it's all about you know individual technique uh, to start off with, so the players have got a real good bedding down of their individual technique, dribbling, turns, passing. And once we get that technique bedded in, then we can start to work maybe a wee bit more, especially with the older ones, you know, be a bit of tactical awareness, uh, movement and these kinds of things. Which some of the, the kids out here uh, may be working with some, with some coaches, no disrespect to any coaches out here, it's just maybe a different way of doing it. And you know what kids are like, once they get used to something, they like to try new things. So this is hopefully a new way of thinking, a new way of training for them. Uh, which they'll enjoy and, and more importantly hopefully develop as a player and, and take home. You know, if they take home a few things after the end of the week that's going to help them improve their game, then, then we're happy we've done our job, you know. And, and are you guys going to help out then with the, the travel team and kind of picking the, te the, the kids for that? This year um, there isn't any plans to help with the tryouts, etc. But, you know, we've got, we've got this relationship now, so I would imagine, and I'm sure Hanny's thinking the same as me, that over the years we'll, when we come back, We'll maybe have a camp for, you know, kind of recreational kids, and then we'll maybe have like a travel camp, and we can go and really work their teams as well. Um, so I see this year there's no plans to be involved with the travel teams, because I know it's it's new to this this club as their travel uh, set up. So once they get that up and running, I'm sure we'll have uh, some input into how they go about it as well. All right. Anything else you want to add? No, I think uh, the guys are delighted to be here. Um, as you can see by my face, a bit of sunshine, which we don't get much of in Scotland, so that's always a bonus for the guys as well. And uh, we're enjoying ourselves, and for me, if a coach is enjoying himself, you usually find the, the kids are enjoying themselves as well, as well as learning, of course. So.